my um, all day gaming and um, fun and today I'm going to be talking about um, the new Mac or uh, well, the Mac choice that you've got at the moment so the reason I'm talking about this is I've came to a uh, face where I can't choose between two Macs um, but then I went to the Apple the other day and explained it all out but if you don't want to go to Apple and you need this help watch this video because this is what it's going to be about so if we go on to iMac here so as you can see the iMac is a, a fast big you're paying for what you're actually like you get the most for your money with this I was saying um so you're getting quite quite a good thing with this iMac but as you can see now the price is going up and down from 999 pounds and up so you obviously buy it when it's on 999 so let's select the iMac and this could we'll have a look at the difference between these four iMacs so as we can see this one here is a 21 inch 2.5 gigahertz um, quad core Intel um, processor, which is really fast. Well, it's quite fast. Um, not fast as you can get, obviously, because 3.1 there. But I'm saying that's insane. This one over here. Um, but here we go. It's a 1,920 times 180 resolution, which is, I believe, one of the best screens you can get. 500 gigabyte hard drive. Um, that's the main reason everybody jumps up to this one but when we select this and we'll have a little look into the cheaper one first of all so in here we can see that um, the price here is this but don't worry when that goes to down to 999 it will be okay it will just well you'll probably end up paying this if you want to get the 8 gig RAM which would be another 100 pounds which is basically what you need if you're going to be playing games hosting servers mo minecraft and all of that you're going to need that or if you're just using it for games or editing software or anything like that you're going to need that 8 gig of ram or if if you want to jump even more you can go to um, 36 i think is the next one up but um leave that for another day <laughs> it's a little bit out of um paying but here's the apple magic mouse um that's very good i would just keep that with the um apple magic mouse Yep, that's all okay. The keynote, um, if you want to get keynote, you have 20 quid on. So let's say we want to get keynote as well. Um, pages, let's get pages. That's another 20 pounds. And numbers, mm, we don't really need that, so we'll just leave that. Apple Care Protection Plan, don't need that because you've got YouTube videos now. One to one, don't need that. An Apple Remote, um, <clears throat> let's have an Apple TV. There's no point of getting this. Say we do have an Apple TV, we're going to get that. Um, an Apple Thunderbolt cable, um, read it there. Thunderbolt technology supports blazing fast data transfer, which basically goes with external Thunderbolt storage, which is a total of 12 t terabytes, um, and it's £2,000, £2,300, which is out of the comfort zone because when I do that, it jumps up to three grand, but that's what you would t select if you were uh, like a big film editor. So, say we wanted um, Apple Thunderbolt, just add that 49 on. Um, remember, guys, you can always just check this out on your Mac or your PC, just go to the Apple website. Uh, time capsule, it's good. Um, if you want to get that, go ahead. Uh, I'm just doing what I would be getting. I've already got an Apple TV, but a printer with your Mac. Now, I recommend this. Because that's a good printer, that is. But if you've already got a good printer, I'd leave it. Right, so as I can see, um, it's that much. So, say I took off um, the £100 at the start, I'd be on £1,257 with 8GB of RAM, an Apple Magic Mouse. This is the extras I'm going to read out. Um, sorry, 8GB of RAM, Keynote. Pages, an Apple remote, or say get rid of this Apple remote. Okay, okay, get rid of that. Eighty-eight pounds ninety-eight pence would be the total price, which is barely anything for an iMac. Now, 
let's go to the store and we'll have a look at the um, MacBook Pro now, which is they're the same price. You must be thinking. The thing is, what you're basically paying for there is, unless you're getting a Retina display, which is crazy, um, all you're paying for is um, bits of the iMac miniaturized. So you pay for the money to for it to be miniaturized, which isn't isn't very good. But if you have an iPad, I recommend you. And so does Apple. You buy an iMac because, um, say you were going away on holiday, you could just check your email on your iPad. But if you're going to university, you need a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air because it's portable, totally portable. So, say we wanted eight gig of RAM, we needed a hard drive that wasn't five hundred, so we'd go for a seven fifty, which at a hundred pounds, just to that. So, say we kept the five hundred. We wanted a. We wanted the same things, and we wanted. Do you, if you wanted these adapters, okay, okay, these are already all socketed onto the iMac stuff like that. So, say we needed these, we're gonna click on all because we would already have them basically on the iMac so we're gonna click them um, so we're already over the other over the iMac um, so it's probably a much smarter move to go for the iMac if you're just looking to do photo editing YouTube videos and so on that's what I'm getting when it dropped back down to 999 I'm saving up at the moment got about 600 quid so I'll be getting that soon um, much faster videos I can be doing, better quality, better editing, all ready for that Black Ops to come out. I'm going to be straight on top of that. Um, guys, just please subscribe and get me on top of that. I mean, getting a HD PVR, hopefully. So, um, I'll come back with a video of my HD PVR that I'll be getting soon. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please watch the rest of my videos uh, and come back for more. Thank you.